I did a video a while back on this uh, duplexer and I uh, got a lot of comments on this RCA connector. Um, you would imagine this would be on audio equipment, not 800 megahertz equipment. Uh, there's an SMA, which is very nice for RAR RF, and there's an N connector, which the antenna hooks, hooks to, very, very nice. So uh, the antenna is using an N, the receiver is using a RCA, and the transmitter is using the SMA. So um, I suppose they use different ones here, so you can't mix it up. <laughs> Somebody can't, can't screw it up. So um, let's talk about the RCA connector though, because that does seem like it's not going to be good for 800 megahertz, right? I don't know how good it is. So I thought, well, hey, I got all this equipment to test this thing. So let's, let's test, test out RCA connectors. So I looked through my bunch of adapters that I have, and I do have some RCA adapters. This is RCA, RCA to uh, PL259. Uh, here's RCA to uh, uh, BNC. Uh, and so what I did was I, I said, well, let's take a an RCA female and an RCA male, and we'll put those together, and then we'll have a BNC to BNC. And we'll see how adding this to a system would screw things up, right? Um, and so I, I kind of wanted a uh, something that looked like this, but maybe better constructed, right? And so I, I, I took a... Uh, a BNC to BNC, BNC to BNC, and I put those together, and I made sort of the same thing, okay? So this one's gonna be BNC to RCA, RCA to RCA to BNC. This one's gonna be BNC to BNC to BNC, BNC, okay? And we'll see what the difference is between, between these two things. We'll, we'll, check the, uh, we'll check the transmission between uh, these things and see if there's any loss in the system, okay? Well, that's S21. All right, so let's go up to here. Um, and I have a, uh, a BNC to BNC cable going from input to output. And you can see when I flex the cable, you get noise injected into the signal. That's one of the reasons people were saying, well, how come certain cables are so darn expensive? Well, one of the reasons is they're low noise. Believe it or not, yeah, you can buy low noise cables that when you flex them, they don't. They don't create noise, and um, they're better shielded. They have better transmission characteristics. They have better bend radiuses. There's a whole bunch of reasons why expensive coax is expensive, and but so you can buy better cables. This is an HP cable, and I don't know what kind of quality it is, but it's it's reasonable. All right, so let's get all of our connectors tight here, and uh, all right, let's do a zero. To do another zero here. All right, so we are calibrated at um, zero to three point two gigahertz. All right, we'll take off uh, this connector and we'll put on our BNC to BNC to BNC to BNC. You, you get that one right, um, and we'll put it on and we'll see how it does. And uh, it's got some add some wigglies to it. But this is a two dB per division, so they're with they're less than a dB of error anywhere along the way. So um, yeah, let me put a marker right at exactly uh, 800 megahertz. 800 megahertz. So that that marker is at 800 megahertz, and you can see that it's it's doing great to 800, and it goes. In fact, it it does fairly decently all the way up to 3.2 gigahertz. Right. All right. So then let's insert our questionable connector, the one with the RCAs in it, and let's see how it does. And yeah, there you go. Ooh, it gets pretty squirrely out here at three gigahertz, but yeah, up to 800, uh, up to 800 megahertz, it's doing just fine, thank you. Um, it's starting to wiggle a little bit uh, just before the marker, it starts to maybe, starts to wiggle a little bit after 720. Um, and over here, it's super, super flat, really, really nice. But I mean, if, you know, one dB was your error band, then it's about there. So it's about 1.14 gigahertz is where it finally falls away from one dB of insertion loss. So, <laughs> you know, 
even uh, people are always panicking over cables and over connectors and adapters and always panicking over those things. I did a video once, maybe I can remember to link it down below on adapters just don't add that much to the to the measurement problems. It just doesn't. Um, and and this this by far is the worst. RCA to RCA to RCA. These, these, the quality of these, this one's not too, too bad, but this one's really bad. This one, I'm sure that if I bought a high quality um, version of this uh, female to male uh, BNC, that would get a whole, whole lot better. Um, the quality that's on the, uh, uh, on the actual device here is actually quite good. It's a rigid coax coming into a fairly expensive RCA. So I'm imagining that this would actually be just perfect at 800 megahertz, perfect. Um, this one is super, super cheesy. Um, so yeah, um, there you go. Don't panic, RCA is at least good to 800. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I found it interesting, and uh, I learned something, so.